Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. We have dates for both Tales of Hearts R and Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment from North America and Europe. North America will receive Tales of Hearts R on the 11th of November and Sword Art Online on the 19th of August, while Europe will receive Tales of Hearts R on the 14th of November and Sword Art Online on the 20th of August. NIS America have announced they plan to localize two games, Criminal Girls Invite Only, the Vita remake of PSP Dungeon Crawler Criminal Girls, and Hotel Nick Firefly's Diary, Nipponichi Software's original title known as Hotaru no Nikki in Japan. Firefly's Diary will be released in the fall as a digital download exclusive, while Criminal Girls Invite Only is coming in Spring 2015. That's for both North America and Europe. A little cool announcement here, Sega have confirmed they plan to translate the lyrics of the songs in the upcoming Project Diva F Second to English in order to help the Western audiences understand the music. The game will launch in North America and Europe in the fall. Soul Sacrifice Delta is receiving two free outfits and a new boss, the Gygas. The new packs and outfits are available through the download menu of Soul Sacrifice Delta. A little interesting note, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds Vita version, which hasn't been officially announced for localization at the time I write this, will be on display at the Anime Expo this weekend at the Los Angeles Convention Center. There should be an announcement coming soon, surely. The third DLC pack from Muramasa Rebirth, The Tale of the Seven Night Ghostly Curse, features a ninja cursing himself with wave after wave over assassins over the course of a week. The DLC will release in Japan on the 10th of July. North America and Europe will receive it on the 15th and 16th of July. The American Vita launch date for One Piece Unlimited World Red has been pushed back in North America. The game will now release as a GameStop exclusive physical edition on the 14th of July, while the digital release will follow on the day after, the 15th. There will also be a free DLC pack, Red Stands Alone, freely available on said day to both America and Europe. We have a few new details for the localized versions of Freedom Wars. There will be no dub, with only Japanese voices and subtitles available, and while North America will receive the game physically, in Europe it will be download only. The game's 47 Japanese prefectures will be replaced with 50 popular cities from around the globe the players can choose for themselves. There's still no date for either region. Natural Doctrine has a fully confirmed North America and Europe release date. The game will launch in North America on the 16th of September and on the 19th in Europe. The game has been confirmed to be cross-play and cross-save with the PS3 and PS4 versions as well. Manga Kakeru, a game developed by Japanese studio Granzella, is a game based around creating your own manga. There aren't many more details as of yet. Senran Kagura, Bon Appetit, has been confirmed to release in at least some European territories, with an Australian rating showing as such. In other news, Xseed has confirmed how they plan to sell the game. In Japan, the game was released in two packs, the base containing the normal ninjas, and a second pack containing characters from Shinobi vs. Xseed have said they plan on releasing the first pack as a standalone game, and releasing the second pack as downloadable content later on. There's still no date for either region. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters is being published by Axis Games sometime in 2015 for the Vita and PlayStation 3. The game is an RPG based around detecting and trapping ghosts, along with a couple of other features. Dengenki Bunko Fighting Climax is a Vita and PlayStation 3 fighting game crossover containing characters from various media franchises including Dura Ra Ra and Sword Art Online. The game is coming out sometime during the fall in Japan, and with the license issues this sort of thing would create, don't expect it to see it in the West anytime soon. We don't have many details about this, but Demon Gaze 2 has been announced to be in development at Katakawa Games. The earliest known release window is at the end of 2015, with the potential to be pushed back even further. And finally this week, Killzone Mercenary has received a new patch changing up the spawn system and updating the naming system for the bots. That's it for this week. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week!